All right, camera's rolling. Yes, hello, welcome along to this episode of Tommy G Talks. This episode is how to be more positive, the new parent edition. Now, first of all, congratulations on becoming a parent. It is the best, most rewarding, but also most challenging job in the world. And, you know, if you can even call it a job, it's a responsibility, um, it's, a, it's a lifestyle and it's a commitment. And, you know, a lot of the content that I recorded for this podcast was pre-children. And looking back now, I cannot believe how naive I was. Some of the some of the things that, um, that that I thought would be easy are really, really difficult. And some of the real simple things like thinking positive, for example, trying to keep your own motivation high, your own goals, trying to keep your own life going, whilst you know giving so much of your energy, you know, rightly so, um, one might add, to your child or children as well as balancing relationships, social life, your health, your career, your future dreams and ambitions. It's very difficult. And, you know, these things literally take a new shape and flavor overnight, like everything changes overnight. And um, in this episode today, I'm just going to help because, look, I'm not an expert in this, but I have two children now, Um, one of which is a six year old boy. The other is an almost four year old girl. And um, from being somebody who was a person who gave advice on how to stay motivated, how to stay positive, and a lot of the time, my clients, when I was coaching, um, they were parents, and I would never be able to see that unique perspective. Now, that's not to hold anything against anyone who's helping anybody that isn't a parent, um, and you know, is helping other people that are parents. You don't know until you know, right? So there's nothing against that. Um, you can't help that. You know, but what I can say now is being a parent and also stepping away from coaching and now running a digital marketing agency is I kind of now understand a little bit about like the real kind of office life as a parent, you know, work life as a parent, um, having these commitments, having to balance everything in life. And ultimately, which is why I want to call this one how to stay positive, ultimately what can happen to your thoughts and how very self, well, how very negative and like, how very damaging sometimes your thoughts can be when your stress levels increase. Because one thing that does increase your stress levels quite significantly, ladies and gents, is having a child. Like it's very difficult, like life's difficult anyway, but then when you have this little thing that you have to care for that, you know, is quite helpless and, you know, let's not beat around the bush, it's survival is relying upon you to keep it alive, particularly in the early years. So there's a lot of routine change, there's a lot of disruption. Man, so yeah, it does get tough, but I know you know this. So let's get straight into it. There are three things that I feel can help you to stay positive. And you know, there's there's a real value in staying positive. There's a, a lot of benefit to your life in staying positive, no matter what, especially as a parent. Now that you are a parent, you are a role model, you have to set a positive example to your child or children. And so taking that self-leadership approach and always looking to improve yourself is really, really important, I believe, in order to be the best parent you can possibly be. So well done for listening to this episode. Another valuable thing that happens when we think positive is that positive things happen in our lives and life gets easier because we quite literally do become what we think about. So if you're thinking about problems, if you're thinking about stressful things, if you're thinking about negative things, you will become stressed, you will become negative, you'll become helpless, you'll become defeatist, and that will have a, a, an effect on your life that will translate and transfer across other areas like your health and your relationships and your career. So there's a real case for thinking positive in life, uh, especially as a parent and a new parent um, is the best time to address that. So point number one is communicate. And when I talk about communicate, I talk about with your partner or with your close friends and family, but I'm also talking about with yourself. Use a diary or a journal and write down how you feel and please do not be afraid to admit defeat. Like I've had some days where I've been like, do you know what? I just have been terrible today. I haven't been on it, I haven't been motivated, I've just eaten junk food, I've been stressful, I've been like snappy and short with my kids and I've been able to just admit defeat. Like today's been a hard day, there's nothing wrong with that. 
there is nothing wrong with admitting defeat and sometimes we're sort of like led to believe that we have to live this sort of perfect life and that everything's easy and we're the odd one out if it's tough because people don't tend to share those really ugly kind of I've messed up a little bit today and I'm a bit disappointed at myself today type bits of content it doesn't really happen does it but let me tell you right now as a human to a human, as a parent to a parent, that does happen. You do get those days where you are defeated, where the kids get the better of you, where they give you the run around, where they add to your stress levels just a little bit too much. And you know, with work and with everything else and the disappointment of not doing the things that you wanna do or that you had planned and the disruption, it can cause you to have like a loss for the day. Like sometimes you gotta take an L, um, knowing that when you wake up the next day, the most important thing for you to do is draw a line under that and make the next day better than the day that you were defeated. That is okay, that is normal. But let me just make an extra layer of emphasis on how important it is to not only admit that defeat, let it happen. Okay, I haven't had a good one today. Talk about it with your partner, with your friends, with your family, or in your journal or diary, but don't hold it in, right? Don't let it rot your thinking and then wake up the next day and think, right, what can I learn about yesterday to help make today a bit better? Um, how can I approach situation differently if it were to happen again? I think that's one of the components that makes a great parent. And it's also something that can really help you to think positive, to communicate, admit defeat and learn. Because every time that happens, you get more perspective and more potential to be a more positive person. Point number two, it's just to take a little bit of credit and strength in just showing up. As I mentioned at the start, being a parent is one of the hardest things to do, yet one of the most straightforward. So many people are parents, and so many people have been parents, and so many people will be parents. Like It's not like a new thing, right? But it's new for you. And when it's new for you, sometimes it can feel like you're sort of sunk and lost in this like void of nothingness where every day is the same. And you're giving, and you're using all this energy, and you're putting all this energy into this like, parenting thing into this little life that you have to look after and nurture and bring up that we don't often give ourselves credit for just showing up and being there and being present and doing the best that you can because there's been many books written and podcasts and stuff about how to parent but until you do it you, you don't really know how you are as a parent um, but please take some credit and some strength in just showing up because let's face it not everyone does and that's sad, not everyone does. And some people, uh, you know, they, they, they do show, well, they don't show enough courage and strength to just show up every day. Just to, you know, feed your kids and dress your kids and change their nappies and put them to bed and brush their teeth and make the bottles and all these things that seem like really thankless tasks. I think we do need to give ourselves a little bit of credit. We have to allow ourselves that at least, because we can take real strength in showing up and that can help us to feel more positive. So I hope you can do a little bit of that in yourself. And point number three is the gratitude. It's an honor to be a parent. There are many people that aren't able to be parents that would love to. And as much as everyone's life is different and we are only dealt the cards we are dealt, feeling grateful for the fact that you have this miracle in your life i think is really important and if you can find moments because it's difficult isn't it when you're like covered in all sorts of uh all sorts of mess whether it's food or whether it's something else you know that kids like to do um or whether you know you've just had a real stressful day like if you can find moments where you can just look at this beautiful miracle and you can see that beauty and you can just think, do you know what? I'm just so grateful that this is part of my life experience because it quite easily couldn't be part of that part of your life experience. You aren't entitled to be a parent, but you are. And so you're so lucky. And I think we all need to know that we're very blessed to be parents and we should feel very grateful to not only have that in our lives, but for us to be a part of somebody else's another human being's life and to own that title of mum or dad is an honor and something that is truly special but amongst all the chaos and amongst all the stress it's like you blink and you miss it you know and I, I don't want that I don't want to live in regret and I don't think you want to live in regret either so in order not to live in regret 
I think it's important to acknowledge gratitude and feel grateful about the moments of, of magic that we have, um, of beauty that exist in the innocence of our children. I think that's really quite beautiful. So in conclusion, like, <laughs> like credit to you for, for listening to this podcast. You're obviously finding it a little bit challenging and struggling a little bit. And like, I can remember breaking down many, many times, but all of these things that I've talked about today helped me, like communication. I can remember talking, like rang my dad once and just sort of cried on the phone. And he gave me some real solid advice and some real solid perspective and in hindsight to how he parented me that I found really useful. Um, he shared a couple of regrets he had that you know I, I took on board because I don't want those regrets and that helped me and I thought that was really quite big of him and, and bold of him and, cur and courageous of him. Um, but communication, without that, no nothing happens there. Um, take strength in showing up, you know, like it's really hard and, and it can feel, especially in the early weeks and months that you're just not getting anything back and that's, that's perfectly normal to feel like that. I don't really feel ashamed of feeling like that, but take strength in showing up and you know, you've got your own life to live and your own personality and that's really important in your own desires and goals and ambitions in life that can still happen. But in this current process of just being a new parent, like understand the power that you have. Like I, I struggled because I had all this great stuff going on and I had achieved so much in my life before I had children. When I had my first, or when we had our first child, it was, it sort of slowed down and I realized like I wasn't achieving as much, I wasn't doing as much, I didn't have as much spare time for a start. But then I realized that all of this like energy that I was putting into other things like in sport and in business and in life in general, all that energy was just going into this little human being and I was actually helping to raise a pretty awesome human being. And so I realized that nothing's changed, like I'm still capable of achieving, but it's just that this is my achievement now. I'm putting my energy into this and look at, look at what I'm helping to grow. This little person, it's just like, quite important to acknowledge that and take strength in just showing up. Give yourself some credit. You're doing a great job. You can only do your best, right? And then thirdly is again, be, be grateful. It's such an easy bit of advice to give, isn't it? But like how, how grateful are you? Um, and how often could you remind yourself to just feel blessed and grateful for the fact that you are a parent because it's not an entitlement. So I hope that you've enjoyed this podcast, something a little bit different. I'm gonna sort of play around with a few more um, podcast episodes like this where we're addressing like a particular a particular uh, thing so if this one's for you please let me know how it's gone down also what would you what would you add like what would your advice be I'd love to know your advice to any new parent if you've got kids and you're listening to this one and I do hope that you're keeping happy and healthy um, I'm not sure what's coming up next I'm kind of like riffing really with the podcast at the moment just kind of going with the flow but if you enjoyed this please do stick around subscribe you might see something that you like in previous episodes um, I am a uh, at the time of recording this 34 year old father of two that has achieved many things in life at current uh, currently I am the owner of a digital marketing agency that I started in 2020 before that gym owner life coach, speaker, personal development coach, author, lots of different things, but above all, someone who's just having a go at things and trying to do the best I can in life. And I hope that you've taken some positive energy from this podcast. So stick around um, and let me know what you'd like me to do next if, um, if you are here. Thank you for listening. Take care of yourself and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.